In just the last hour, Wake County school leaders wrapped up the discussion about safety at school. Their meeting comes the very same day a middle school student was disciplined for making a threat. Sky 5 was over River Bend Middle this morning when police responded. The principal says the empty threat was vetted quickly and the school never had to go into lockdown. This comes amid a wave of threats, of course, and weapons on campuses. WRAL's Joe Fisher was at today's meeting, again, that focused on school safety. Joe, it appears some safety improvements are one step closer to being implemented now, correct? Lena, the district has been working behind the scenes on this for quite some time, and today we learned that they have identified five specific recommendations for safety upgrades across the district. What we just learned in the past 15 minutes is that metal detectors and weapons detector detectors are not part of this plan. They are not talking specifics about those recommendations, saying they don't want to release any private security information. But again, weapons detectors and metal detectors, not part of that security plan. Starting next school year, visitors to every school in Wake County will be screened more intensely. A new nearly $1 million system will identify sex offenders, people with protective orders, and those with child custody restrictions. Visitor management is one of seven focus areas as Wake Schools works to increase safety. The district is also exploring solutions to social media threats, fine-tuning its reunification plan, and in increasing security at sporting events. Just last Thursday, we told you about a juvenile who managed to get a loaded AR-15 inside a basketball game at Millbrook High School. In the last four months, there's actually been five guns brought to five different schools. I did ask school board member Dr. Wing Ng his thoughts about installing some type of weapons detection system in schools. That is a you know, technology you know, that's only one piece of the bigger puzzle, you know. You know Do you support that piece? Um, I think that it, it, in some ways I, I have to think through it first. I don't know for sure whether it would work or not. Um, knowing the fact that, you know, there's more than, you know, one point of entry in some, a lot of different uh, locations. And the senior director of security for Wake Schools says the most important thing when it comes to security is the relationship between students, parents, and the staff at school. Improving that relationship, he says, could solve a lot of the problems. He encourages parents to safely secure their guns, and he encourages parents and students to report any suspicious activity. Lena. Joe Fisher reporting live for us in Wake County. Thank you.